My name is Greg Sanofsky. I'm uh, a pilot for uh, K2 Aviation here in Talkeetna, Alaska. I've been a licensed pilot now for over 35 years. I'm also an aircraft mechanic and inspector, and, and I, I love it. Yeah, the aircraft behind me is a de Havilland Beaver. I believe this one's a 1957 model. And you can see we've got wheel skis, and the reason for the wheels and the skis is we have pavement that we take off here at Talkeetna, so we need the tires to, to be able to land back here, and, to get, and then we're landing on glaciers up in the range, so we put the skis down in flight and then land on the glaciers with the skis, and then we take off the glacier, we raise the skis back up again, come back here and land with wheels. So it's got a 50, a 48 foot wingspan, which gives it, the longer the wing, the more lift you have, the faster you can get off the glacier and get off the ground. And it has uh, drooping uh, ailerons, along with the flaps. You lower the flaps, the ailerons also come down too. It gives you more surface area and gives you, produces more lift. Landing on the glaciers, it gets to be a little difficult sometimes. You have the, the weather, of course, to contend with, fog and clouds, uh, the wind, making sure that the wind's not too bad for a takeoff. It's nice to have a headwind to, to land, but it, uh, you really need the wind, uh, headwind to take off also. Uh, we're landing on top of the snow that's on top of the glacier, <clears throat> and the glacier itself, they're all cracked crevasses, and then the snow covers them up and we land across the top of them. And we can do that until the snow melts down to the glacier ice, and there's actually a divot there, so now we can't land there anymore, you're gonna hurt the airplane. And it's pretty cool, it's exciting, and uh, it, can, it, it is dangerous, and so uh, pilots are trained pretty heavily to uh, you know, ensure the safety of everybody. That's the most important thing is people's safety. Um, the li lighting is one of the key issues on the, uh, when you're landing on a glacier. It's, uh, if you have a overcast skies, then everything is just gray. It's like taking a bowl of milk and looking into a bowl of milk. You have no idea how high you off are, are off of the glacier ice itself. So usually the first person in at the beginning of the season will go ahead and we have these uh, four foot plastic toboggans that the climbers use to haul their, their gear. And we'll go ahead and dig a hole and put three or four of those as markers next to the landing spot. So we line up on the on those uh, those markers and so then we can tell how high we are off the ground and use that for uh, depth perception. I've only actually got uh, stuck in the snow once and I was the first one in, it's called the Eldridge Glacier, it's about 7,200 foot elevation. I was flying the Havilland Beaver right behind me here and it was about five or six inches of new wet snow and I touched down and trying to make it up top, I couldn't even get to the top. And then tried to turn and it wouldn't turn, I was just stuck in the sticky snow. So I had to get everybody out of the airplane and if you see the ropes on the wings there, that's for when we get stuck. You take the biggest guys in the airplane and you have them hang onto the ropes on the left hand side of the airplane, hang onto the ropes and then I hop in there and I power it up and then it helps turn the airplane around like this. And then as soon as I get pointed down glacier, they'll let go of the ropes and then I'll go ahead and take off, come back in and land four or five times, pack the snow down. And then I stopped, shut the engine off, loaded the people up and took off, came back, came back home. But uh, it was uneventful, fortunately. It's, that's the way we like it.